Hello everyone, uh, Jeff here again with MCEP Technology. Um, I want to go through today the uh, Keyence IX Navigator software with the Keyence IX um, series vision sensor, laser measurement vision sensor if you will. Um, and we're going to talk about um, if the target's moving or if we want to use line mode for our application. And we're going to go through how to set that up. So obviously the same way you would for the scan mode, you're going to go through sensor setup. And again, this is the same process you would use in the IV Navigator 2 for the IV2 series sensor. Excuse me. You're going to go through and obviously do your brightness adjustment. So once again, I'm going to hold my sensor up here. And I'm going to go ahead and have it redo an automatic brightness adjustment because I can see that it's probably going to need to do that. Um, you'll notice my laser is moving a little bit over here, but that's because my hand's kind of tired of holding this if you will <laughs> otherwise that laser is dead straight it's it's not moving it's not changing it is in the same spot because that is the only measurement that is the line measurement if you will that it's going to read from you have the opportunity again to change maybe your sampling period from 6 milliseconds 11 milliseconds whatever you can do um, you have the opportunity again um, you kind of give up sensitivity for time it's kind of your choice but you have that opportunity to do that anyway um, you can also change the lasers position so if you want to move it back a little if you want to move it forward a little just kind of depends on your position where you need the laser to be it's kind of handy it's like oh I mounted my scent my laser and ooh, I might need to move that back just a couple of little millimeters off my my target if you will for where it stops or something along the lines you have the ability to do that which is kind of a handy little tool if you will you're going to go to the next step, which is very similar to what we've talked about before, and you're going to register master image, so it kind of has something to work from. Um, in this case, I'm going to go ahead and say that's my master, set that as the master image. Um, okay, go ahead and go to the next step. And this is going to be basically where I add my tool. So I can also do I can do a step height, position adjustment, tilt adjustment, height, um, width diameter, edge position and then some other calculation tools of like a step width. I'm going to go ahead and just talk about um, maybe like a step height, but I kind of want to just stick with the height because we're just going to measure the height of the tabletop surface here from where the sensor head is. So in this case, we just go with that and say, hey, yeah, where are we at? Are we good? And so, okay, yep. Um, obviously, you want to set that criteria where you need it for your quality application. So, you know, if you're trying to do a, a physical measurement, you obviously want to know that you're within this window, not some massive window of 160 millimeters of difference. Remember, we're talking 16 centimeters, which is quite a substantial window when we're thinking about it in other terms. So in this case, we're just talking what's our measurement of height, and we're just kind of taking a generic height measurement here. We have obviously our, uh, our uh, outputs from our, our system here once again and again I'm just gonna go ahead and shut these off because all I have connected to this is Ethernet so I have no real need for my outputs and then I'm gonna go ahead and go complete my settings yes go ahead and save all these changes that I've made and then we're gonna go ahead and put it into run mode and we'll do a little testing here so again it's not moving I'm the one causing it to move so we have our opportunity to move it up or down depending on our need or our criteria um, for what our measurements are. So, with that being said, we're able to do our our measurement of our tabletop surface. So, pretty much the basics of how it works. So, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and set that back down here. And again, we've still got our indicator up here that's telling us whether we're in in good or bad. Let's see if I can't get that kind of in a good position here. Well, anyway, you get the general idea that we're we're after that that color change for good or bad quality. Um, basically, good, no good image. So, anyway, that's basically the general gist of how to set up the IX series um, laser image sensor with the IX Navigator software. Um, from Keyence. So thank you all for watching and always remember to stay safe.